Hello there, I am Dranko with more Pokemon Leaf Green Redo. In the last part, we took on a rematch against Champion Matt. We beat him, the credits rolled, and we actually um, taught Rock Smash to our one of our Pokemon. It's uh, actually Pokemon out of the PC. I put um, Giant Green in the PC uh, just because Giant Green and Mewtwo, uh, you know, G uh, Giant Green being weak to Mewtwo, Psychic types attacks, Psychic attack, for example, uh, being, being half poison would be super effective. So I put Giant Green in the PC just because he was the weakest link, honestly, for this uh, Sewin Cave challenge. But I taught Rock Snake, Rock Smash, and then you also need a Pokemon that knows uh, Surf, too. So yeah, that's all you need to get through this cave, really. So yeah. Going and you also you'll need you have a Pokemon that knows Surf anyway to get to one cave because there's water around the cave entrance so you should already have um Surf anyway so it's pretty much a given so since my Pokemon are level 70 and 71 excluding Rock Snake uh, so basically for example is Tropic Off is level 71 so it'll repel Pokemon that are level 70 and below my repels my Rock repel should work on uh, this dungeon so I'm gonna just use them. I, sh I shouldn't I should have to use like all 29 of them because I know where I'm going. Another the repel uh, for my lingerie, so that's good. Um, so, I guess we can start just exploring this cave and hopefully getting to Mewtwo. Because our main objective here is to catch Mewtwo in the Sewing Cave. But we have to get them first. I think that's not the way you're supposed to go. I think you have to just go this way. Yeah. And then I'm not gonna get like all the items, I'm just gonna get the ones that are like close to me. There's a full store by the way. It's pretty cool. Since this is like the second to last part of this project, I will just um just get just get items that I think are just close enough. Because I know how to get the Mewtwo really fast. So I actually um, don't really this is like the maze part where I don't really remember like exactly where everything is. But uh I think I'm going the right way. Oh wait, this is the se I guess this is, um, this could be the second to last part, or this could be the third to last part. I'm not really sure, actually. <laughs> Depending on if I can get Mewtwo in the same part, too, that'd be nice. Because to get to Mewtwo, it's not that- it doesn't take that long to get to Mewtwo, honestly. Especially if you have a Pokemon that can repel all the white Pokemon in here. Okay, that's what there's right here. there. Dang it, I went the wrong way. Jeez. This maze part is the one that tricks me, because I don't really remember his maze all the way. But, uh... I'll figure it out, I guess. I think it's this way. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the right way. Yeah, there we go, right here. And then we go right here, into this ladder. And we're almost to Mewtwo, really close to Mewtwo, actually. So if here's another item, let's pick it up, I guess. It's a max survivor worth picking up. Mewtwo is like super close. All you have to do is surf down here, which is coming up, coming up actually. And then all you, you're basically there. Basic, you're basically there. I must have basically twice there. Technically, did it, I just technically set it right there twice. There's an Ultra Ball, nice. So how many Ultra Balls do we have actually? I know I have like 26, okay. Yeah, 25, okay, cool. Nice. So we have 26 Ultra Balls, 25 Great Balls, and 14 Puck Balls, and then Master Ball. Don't You don't want to use Master Ball on Mewtwo though, because we're going to use Master Ball actually in the next part, depending on if I can catch Mewtwo in this part. Same part. But yeah. Surf right here, and there's Mewtwo. Nice. So, I'm going to put a, I'm going to do a safe save real quick, and then I'll be right back. Okay, let's talk to Mewtwo. Mew. Yeah. Okay, so he says Mew, but this is actually Mewtwo. <laughs> Mewtwo is level 70. And it's non-gender, okay, of course. I think you know Swift, Psychic, Safeguard, and, uh... Swift, Psychic, Safeguard, and Recover. Now, this thing is a big pain because it likes to use Recover a lot. And, yeah. And Psychic is really powerful. And then Safeguard makes it so it can't use it. It can't have any... You can't put a status condition on, like, you know, Paralysis, Burn, Sleep, Poison, stuff like that. And then, uh, Swift never misses away, so I guess... I'll shit in there, underwater, or underground, I believe. Let's give another Thunderbolt. I'm trying to paralyze this thing before I use the safeguard, honestly. Yeah, there we go. Quick, quick, quick. Oh no, it's used, it used safeguard. Dang it. Now it's protected from being paralyzed in this case. Dang it. Okay. Let's go put in the red, so that's nice. Okay. 
Let's go for a Pokeball. I mean, Archibald. No, we're not going to a Pokeball this just yet. We have to run out of Ultra Balls and Great Balls before I do that. Okay, so one, two, three. We caught it in one Ultra Ball. Wow. One Ultra Ball. And it was red health, too. I'll take it. Nice. Mewtwo says, I have the Pokedex. Awesome. It's number 150 in the Pokedex. Its name is Mewtwo, of course. Genetic Pokemon. Six. It's six foot, seven inches tall. It weighs 269 pounds. It's, um, its footprint looks like a little mouse, kind of. Like the big ears and the tail thing. At the end, I guess it looks like a mouse to me, honestly. It was created by a scientist after years of horf horrific jet gene splicing and DNA engineering experiments. We caught it in one Ultra Ball at Red Health. That's awesome. Yeah. Let's give it to me too. Yeah. Wow. Let's name it, um... Let's name it... Mew... Is there numbers? Yeah. Let's name it Mew 2. There we go. It's pretty lucky. It's for the Bills PC. Okay, it fits box 2. Wow, that was easy. Did we just really just do that? Wow. Okay, so let's use, um, actually, I can use, um, I can use Firefox's Dig. Nice. I mean, that's all based on luck. But still, we caught it in one Ultra Ball, the first Ultra Ball, and Everett Health. That's pretty cool. This part's gonna be extremely short then. So nice, we got very lucky there. It's lucky, 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 we got very lucky. Uh, let's go back to Sewin City. Well, actually, we can fight a Viridian City because we want to catch Entei is actually near Vermilion, uh, Viridian City, I should say. I, f I meant Vermilion City. Uh, I, I meant, sorry, I meant Viridian City the first time, and. We're gonna go to Viridian City because that's where we, oh, wait, I always catch the three legendary, the one of the three legendary dogs. So yeah, this this session about before um, Viridian Forest. Wow, we're pretty lucky for catching me too in one Ultra Ball at Red Health. That's awesome. Let's see up our Pokemon, I guess. I mean, this it doesn't really matter. They didn't really take any. Well, like, except for Trouble Cleft, they didn't really take any damage. So yeah, it's just seven full healed, I guess. And yeah. Trouble Cuff, I'll put Rock Snake up front. There we go, nice. And we'll look at the Mewtwo, I guess. So yeah, let's go to Bill's PC. And remove Pokemon. And... Yeah, it's, on, it's in Box 2, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So yeah, let's see its summary. Okay, so it's Timid Nature, Met in Swing Cave at level 70. Uh, its attack is 153, its defense is 149, its special attack is 229, which is really good. Um, special defense is 147, and its speed is 222. That's awesome. Its ability pressure raises as far as PP usage. So again, uh, every time Chubacuff just used one Thunderbolt, it actually counted as using two, because it uses double, makes it the foe use double its uh, PP. Instead of using one power point, it uses two on all the moves it uses. So it drains PP faster, you know, Swift Recovery, Safeguard, and Psychic. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, we are going to go after Entei in the next part. So yeah, and we're going to catch Entei because uh, this is what I've been telling you guys. Uh, I've just been telling you guys not to use your Master Ball in any of these legendaries because the, the, the um, one of the three legendary dogs, it's a roaming Pokemon, so it'll flee right after, right when it gets into battle with you. So you want to use your Master Ball on it because you can only have one shot of throwing one Pokeball at it. So why not just throw the Master Ball and catch it? It's a guaranteed. It's going to catch it without fail. But I think in the way Pokemon games, the Master Ball can fail for some reason at certain times. I don't really know what the circumstances are. Yeah, so in the next part, we'll take on. And hopefully you run into him and catch him. So yeah, this has been John Go again. I would like to thank you for checking goodbye and I'll see you guys next time my Pokemon Leaf Green Redo Walkthrough Guide.